United Nations Human Rights Office spokesperson Liz Thrustel says the group was deeply concerned at the decision by Trinidad and Tobago to deport 16 Venezuelan children and nine adults at the same time as an application was being lodged against their removal. Thrussell says the best interests of the child must be a primary consideration in all decisions affecting them. Children should never be forcibly deported based on their or their parents' migration status. Citing the Convention on the Rights of the Child, the watchdog group called on Trinidad and Tobago to safeguard the human rights of refugee and migrant children regardless of their status. This condemnation comes mere hours after Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said the backlash was unsurprising, but he continued to defend Trinidad and Tobago's actions. The Prime Minister reminds that TNT's borders are closed to even its own citizens, and allowing migrants under this interpretation, if accepted, would effectively prize open our borders to every economic migrant, gun runner, drug dealer, human trafficker, and South American gang leader slash members. He says all they will be required to do is make the seven-mile boat trip and claim to be refugees. The Prime Minister points out that last year the country had taken in 16,000 migrants. Even as we ourselves are struggling to cope with our own difficulties, we have afforded them comfort, aid and opportunity. He says we staunchly support the work of the United Nations, but this threat and the persistent disregard for the outstanding humanitarian efforts extended by the people of Trinidad and Tobago do not conform with the spirit and purpose of the UNHCR. Locally, the Prime Minister received criticism from Oropuch MP Dr. Rudal Munilal, who is calling on a joint select committee to review the entire matter. This is bizarre and bewildering. The action of the government to deport while a matter is before the High Court breeds of contempt. It is now incumbent that the children must be kept in a proper sanitized environment in response, Dr. Rowley called the UNC MP an opportunistic carbuncle as he again pointed out that allowing migrants in at this time could create further complications. Peter Christopher, CNC3 News.